Hi, it's Lee from ColouringQueen.net and I've got the latest colouring book by Fabiana Atanzio. This is Hansel and Gretel and it was released at the same time as Cinderella. Now, if you're already familiar with Fabiana's work, you realise that she has quite a lot of colouring books. Now, she did change publishers, so I just want to assure you that this new book is exactly the same measurements as her original books that she first came on the market with. So as always we've got our fold out card and it's got some lovely little sprinkles of gold stars on there, a plain title page and then we get into an extended title page beautifully decorated with elements from the story and we've got an abridged story here of Hansel and Gretel in case we want to refresh our memory and these are lovely places just to get a little bit of a start on your colouring and work out how you want to colour it. Now it's a nice medium white paper and the binding in this book seems to be a lot better. It does actually push down flat if you put some little bit of pressure onto it, it'll start laying down flat. So we've got our house in the woods and Hansel and Gretel with their mum and dad and some little portraits there. And Fabiana always does these lovely little cute drawings. Now the line art's in a dull black and it's quite a medium weight but there is some little small bits of texture here and there to denote things. As always some of her pictures have a black background on them and like all our double page colouring books sometimes we just wish that things weren't up near the spine but this one does actually fold down so as long as you put some pressure on there you will be able to colour up in between that spine area. And she always does like these silhouette patterns with some patterning on them and that's present in this book and in the Cinderella book. I do have to say that I think the line colour is a slightly duller black in this book than what it is in the Cinderella book or at least on some pages. Here it's a lot crisper in comparison to this page where it's a little bit fainter. Now if you've got a minor visual impairment but you still love fairy tales then Fabiana's work is a blessing because she has a lot of large open spaces that makes it easier to colour and also because she generally, not in this picture, but she generally outlines in a thicker weight so it makes it so much easier to see. So I've got a nice variety here of Hansel and Gretel, some general patterns, lots of lovely little nature scenes but this is always my favourite, the sweets. I'd love a house like that where I could nibble around the windows and that would be me nibbling away and that's me again reaching for a lollipop or a donut. So look at all these beautiful things that you can colour in, all the pages of sweets. So got some lovely little stonework there to colour. Lots of lovely little faces and whatnot. This is really cute the way it's been framed in the padlock. And this one's been positioned quite well because most of the circle is on one side. It's such a sweet story, Hansel and Gretel. But maybe I'm just blinded by the candies and the jewels.
Now at the back, as always, there's a giant fold-out poster that's way too big to capture on film. But I'll try and show you some of it and I'll take a picture of it on the floor and I'll put the picture on my blog so that you can see it in detail if you want. But because it's uh, like a metre, it's just far too big to capture on camera. So we've got the beautiful house of sweets, cute little trees, lots of giant sweets everywhere. And of course Hansel and Gretel. And some lovely little flowers down the bottom there. So a gorgeous poster. I don't know how long it would take to colour it or how many pencils you would go through colouring that. So until next time, happy colouring.